Welcome to Lola's Frugal Life Podcast. If you're on a mission to be more frugal with both your time and money, you're in the right place. In this podcast, we talk about topics that help enhance living a frugal lifestyle. The goal is to save time and money where we can so that we can use the rest on what matters most to us. We talk a lot about both time and money management so that we can waste as little as possible on both. We do this while also embracing a progress over perfection mindset. If that sounds good to you, then please stick around for the latest episode right after a few quick words from our sponsor. Hi everyone, welcome back to my weekly meal plan episode. This is where I share with you my family's meal plan for the upcoming week. Maybe it will give you some ideas to put your meal plan together um, or maybe just some inspiration. I do have a full um, post for this weekly meal plan that comes out each week the same time as the episode, um, which can be found on my website at lolasfrugallife.com. And that's where I will have the full meal plan and links to any recipes that I might mention in the episode. So this week's meal plan starts on Saturday, August 5th. For Saturday, I am trying out a new recipe, which is called Sheet Pan Roasted Salmon and Vegetables. It's from eatingwell.com. It's got fingerling potatoes, um, salmon, of course, uh, peppers, cherry tomatoes, Kalamata olives, and um, lemon, and oregano. So it looked like a really... Um, delicious meal that could kind of come together pretty quickly. So I am going to try that for Saturday. And then as a side, I'm going to make tomato mozzarella pasta salad. Although it's funny because like now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if I'm going to make that side. I might shift that side to another day because I don't really think that this meal needs a side. It's got everything in it. It's got all the vegetables and the fish and potatoes and well, I know potatoes are vegetables, but it's kind of feels like it's enough on its own. So we'll see. I may or may not make that salad, but I will definitely make it another day because um, it's really good. This this tomato mozzarella pasta salad, it's from budgetbites.com. It's got bow tie pastas, um, grape tomatoes, spinach. It's got like a mayo and vinegar type dressing that you make for it and um it's just it's got if I didn't say this already it's got fresh mozzarella yeah I think I forgot to say that but it's really good salad so I'm gonna have to figure out another day to make that because I feel like yeah I definitely feel like it's too much of the same kind of because there's like the tomatoes are in the sheet pan and then the tomatoes in the salad so I might do that for a different day anyway For Sunday, I'm going to be doing chicken, sausage, peppers, and potatoes, which is one of my favorite um, weekend meals where you just throw everything in a roasting pan. Now, I do have a stovetop roasting, not a stovetop, um, an electric like countertop roasting oven, so it doesn't heat up the whole house like turning your actual oven would, turning your oven on would for a long time, so... That may be something to consider if you were going to do something like this. But with this, I just plug in the electric roaster oven. I throw in um, Italian sausage, bone-in chicken thighs, some peppers and onions and potatoes. I kind of drizzle some olive oil over it and salt and pepper and then just kind of let it cook. It usually takes about maybe an hour and a half, up to two hours. I like to really get everything really cooked well so that the potatoes are nice and soft and the chicken's kind of starting to fall off the bone. Um, So you just kind of let it cook and you stir it once in a while and it comes out really good. This recipe I forgot to mention is from allrecipes.com. So that is for Sunday. For Monday, I'm going to be doing crock pot chicken cacciatore. This recipe, um, you basically just put some bone in chicken thighs, crushed tomatoes, and some seasoning in your crock pot and just let it cook all day. It makes like a a nice uh, sauce the chicken just the the chicken thighs just kind of fall off the bone and then you could just kind of take the bones out and um, it makes like a really nice sauce and then I'm going to just be serving that over spaghetti for Tuesday we always do some type of Mexican theme meal this week we're going to be doing southwest skillet by Campbell's kitchen which is from allrecipes.com this is like one of those skillet meals where you have um, ground beef chili powder um, mushroom soup 
whole peeled tomatoes, kidney beans, and white rice. And then you top it with cheddar cheese when you're done cooking it. And we serve it with tortilla chips. So that is for Tuesday. For Wednesday, I'm going to be doing easy shrimp vegetable stir fry, which is from allrecipes.com. Now, this recipe calls for a whole bunch of different fresh vegetables to make the stir fry. I honestly don't usually follow that part of the recipe. I just kind of cheat and I buy like a bag of frozen stir fry vegetables. Or sometimes I can find fresh stir fry vegetables, but I don't always find them. Um, I do all my grocery shopping um, on like uh, doing grocery pickups. So I don't know. I'm sure they have them in the store, but for some reason I can't always find them um, when I'm doing the, the online order. So either way, I usually do some type of um, already kind of put together stir fry vegetable kit or, you know, frozen or fresh for, for that meal. So, um, so that's for Wednesday. For Thursday, we usually do soup or we do breakfast for dinner. This week we're doing um, soup. We're doing easy clam chowder from damndelicious.net. This is a really super easy um, clam chowder recipe. Um, you know, it's, it's um, New England style, so it's the white kind. Um, it, you basically just kind of cook up some potatoes in broth and then you add the clams and the heavy cream. Um, obviously there's a few more steps to that, but it's a really pretty quick, easy clam chowder to make and it comes out really good. So that's for Thursday. For Friday, we are doing hot dogs. We do these once a month. I used to do them on a Monday. I switched it to a Friday's. So we're going to do hot dogs and we're going to do a can of um, chili and we're going to do um, greasy, I'm sorry, um, the, this recipe is called Greasy Spoon Home Fried Potatoes, where I orig originally got it from, but I don't have a link to it, so that's why I never really share that. I just kind of forgot and said it because I'm looking at my meal plan here. Um, but what I do is I just do um, potatoes, um, peppers, and onions, dice them up, drizzle it with some olive oil, salt, and pepper, throw it in the air fryer. You could also just roast them in the oven and it goes really good with the hot dogs. Um, we actually put it right on the hot dog and do like Italian style hot dogs. Um, or you could even just kind of have it as an additional side. It kind of goes good with the chili also. So, so that's for Friday. So that is the end of this week's meal plan. I hope this helped or inspired you in some way to get your meal plan together. Um, so yeah, like I said, don't forget, you can find this, um, this whole meal plan with links on my website at lolasfrugallife.com. And that's it for this week. I will see you back here next week. So thank you for checking in for this podcast episode. And don't forget, you can always email me with any questions or suggestions at lolasfrugallife at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at lolasfrugallife. And you can find a blog post for most of my episodes and definitely all of my meal plan episodes at lolasfrugallife.com. You can also join our private listeners group at facebook.com slash groups slash lolasfrugallife. And if you enjoy the show, please make sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you listen from. And I would love it if you would screenshot the show and tag me on Instagram so I could see you're listening. Also, if you can please take a couple of seconds to rate and review the podcast, those ratings and reviews are what help the show come up better in search results so that other people can find this podcast. So that will really help me in growing my audience. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you have an awesome day.